what was sexy 10 years ago but isn't now? When I was in high school there was one year where every girl at my school suddenly started wearing a feather in their hair. Did anyone else experience this or was my high school weird? That fashion trend cut short the supply of feathers used for fly fishing and raised prices for them by a lot. Crazy weird. This was huge at my school in the spring. So when we came back to school after summer break no one had theirs anymore and it was totally uncool. One of my teachers didn't get the memo that it was over and she came to school with hers in on the first day and everyone talked about it. I still feel bad lol. Oh dag. That reminds me of when yo-yos were big at primary school. My parents were very thrifty so for the longest time during the yo-yo fad I had a crummy cheap one. School broke up then for Christmas I got a sick goosebumps yo-yo. Couldn't wait to show my friends. Proudly took it in on the first day of school and was the only kid in school with a yo-yo. The fad died completely over the Christmas break. I'm going to see Kesha, that's why I got all these feathers in my hair. Quit smoking weed wig Kifa on my porch. Waited through all the comments looking for this reference. If that isn't peak teen mom, I don't know what is. Concealer lips, orange foundation, and a heavy-handed black eyeliner look. Well England must be decades behind. I was in Blackpool a few weeks ago. Serious time capsule their fashion wise. Tila Tequila. Ah yes, that's how I learned about bisexuality. Using the word sexy in marketing slash digital teams to describe sleek interfaces or products. July 18, 2006 Justin Timberlake began promising to bring sexy back and has been relentless in its pursuit ever since. I am unsure about his success rate as I look around and things appear status quo. Edit, WTF is the, I'm deceased award? He did already, his era of sexiness just died down. But still remember JT gave you his dick in a box, is down to three way with another dude, and will give your mom the best Mother's Day slash night ever. JT doing comedy is at his sexiest. The time when the phrase sleek, sexy exterior stopped being used in advertising for cars and laptops directly coincided with the time when advertisers started realizing that there were people that actually get turned on by varying degrees of anthropomorphized cars and laptops. Edit, a better word. Do you think Transformers made as robots or cars? I'm imagining two love bugs and one is just kind of mounting the other like a turtle. What the F have you brought upon this cursed land? Why are half the things mentioned on here from the early 2000s when 10 years ago was 2010? Once you turn like 30, when you hear 10 years ago your brain goes to high school. Even though that was much longer ago. Like how you accidentally write last year for a couple months when dating something. Our brains are still defaulting that the 90s were 20 years ago and the 80s were 30. I'm pretty sure that everyone assumes 30 years ago refers to the 1970s, unless that's finally started to change. Why is this? Did a similar kind of mass hysteria exist 30, 40, 50 years ago? Is it because of the millennium change that we get hung up on 2000? A lot of people in this thread finding out they're older than they think they are today. Lol I had to take a minute to process that 2010 was a decade ago when I saw this. Lamal I graduated in 2010 which is crazy because sometimes I still have nightmares I'm in high school. That will never, ever stop. 10 years? You mean like the 90s? Right? No man, 2000. Have you heard of this new band called Linkin Park? Edit. I love that some people are missing the joke and correcting me on basic math lol. What? Sorry, I can't hear you over this corn song I'm rocking right now. What's the title of the song? I'm going to hop in LimeWire real quick and download it overnight. F LimeWire use bear share it's faster it'll be done by dinner if you start before you leave for school dude. Don't seed either because F everyone else. Dude. If I seed my whole library, it'll eat up all of my family's 2 megabits bandwidth. Check out this fat cat with 2 megabyte bandwidth. 
I'm running at 52k. Mom get off the phone. Oh, I discovered exactly how old I am when my workplace hired a few people who were born after I graduated high school. I feel like that's a milestone I didn't need acknowledged. Holy F, people born after I graduated high school will turn 21 this year. What have you done? They were talking about how weird it is to be a grown-up with grown-up responsibilities, and asked if I felt like that back in the day when I was 20. I'm going to be 40 soon-ish, and I sure as crap still don't feel like an adult. Also, it's when you realize you're old enough to be their parent. And they're old enough to have finished a three-year university degree. Fake tan? I think every time I go out, not so often, but anyways, I seem to see less and less orange ladies. Nah. Fake tan is still a thing, but the formulas and technology have become better at replicating the look of a real tan for not very much money. Can confirm. My colleagues love getting spray tanned and they do it often, it's definitely crazy how natural they look now. I think it's a combination of women not feeling as pressured to be tan and fake tan formulas being easier to use and less orange. Skinny eyebrows. As long as they are not taking it too far into the extreme, with thick, overdrawn groucho eyebrows. Beauty is cyclical. Thin eyebrows will be back eventually. It happens every 25 or so years. Girls in the 70s has thin brows, Clara Bow and other silent film stars 100 years ago had thin brows. But yeah, I agree that it looks weird at this point in time. You leave my Eugene Levy out of this. 18 year olds I just like people my own age. It kind of sucks living in a college town and having age from there are sexy people everywhere to these stupid drunk kids need to learn to cross the road before they get killed. I swear college kids IQ drops 50 points the second they have to cross the road. Then they turn into galloping deer that choose the absolute worst time to cross. And it's always either a dead sprint or the hit me it walk too. Edit, y'all assume I mean at crosswalks. College kids don't use crosswalks. I understand and I don't care, hit me attitude when you're in the right, though. And it's always either a dead sprint or the hit me I don't care walk too. To be fair, vacillating between panic and wanting to die is pretty much the college experience. That transition is never gradual. It just happens one day. One day someone does something dumb and youthful and you find yourself saying to yourself, stupid kids. A part of you dies that day. I was at the university recently and instead of checking out all the 18 to 22 year old girls and finding them hot they all just look like children. I work at a state college and most of the 18 to 22 year olds look like kids to me, I'm 31. Even the ones that seem traditionally attractive, you can still tell they're young by the way they carry themselves when you've interacted with them enough and it negates any hotness in my opinion. I worked at a university from the age of 24 to 35. I remember it being a gradual process where one fall nearly all of the incoming freshmen looked like kids to me, but the older students still looked grown and then within a year nearly all of the female students started looking like kids as well. Like you said, it was as much about how they carried themselves as how they physically looked, but once I started to notice it, it slowly became all that I could see. I only point this gradual but relatively rapid process out to contrast with how suddenly I went from feeling like I was still in with that generation to feeling forever old, the first time an attractive co-ed looked at me with sudden smile on her face and then walked straight towards me from down the hall and said excuse me sir, could you tell me where to find my faculty advisor's office? The look on her face had been the type of thing that in another setting I would have thought this girl is into me. But instead was the look of a worried child relieved to have found a grown up for help. I don't think I've felt young since. Buy a fast car? I don't know. I think buying a Corvette now would put him in full-blown midlife crisis mode. Crap man, I felt that. Apple bottom jeans. The ones without any back pockets. Every in HS would wear these. I remember a time a little more than 15 years ago there were pocketless jeans that zipped up the back. So weird to think about those now. Edit. Web link. Boots with the fur. With the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor. 
she hit the floor. Next thing you know. Shoddy got low 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 low. Then baggy sweatpants. And the Reeboks with the straps. Searching boobs on Google Images. Literally just got the new Kindle, first thing I did was search boobs on the experimental browser. 10 tenths boobies in black and white. So no Asian or Hispanic boobs? Yeah but you got to search gray for Asian and gray Hispanic. That's the only thing Bing is actually good at. I swear, like 10 years ago, Bing actually had categories with thumbnails when you searched for porn. I can't find any evidence of it, but I know I remember seeing them when searching images. When I do an image search on Bing, I get small subcategories with thumbnails scattered among the results. I've gone down a pretty good porn rabbit hole that way. Honestly, when you turn safe a search off, you get porn results with honestly legitimate searches. It's like the system is learning. Just realized I was about to list something from the 90s. How did I get so old? FML. How did I get so old? Beats the alternative, doesn't it? How did I get so young? Damn it Benjamin Button. Stay out of this. Same. I was going to be like those black stretchy chokers that sort of look like a tattoo, but then realized that was 20 plus, years ago. Fun fact, those and other 90s styles are back in fashion. Congrats, we're old enough that the style we grew up with is now retro. Now we just need to bring back 90s alt rock and we're golden. I'm from the Seattle area, they play all the stuff that was big enough for MTV on the classic rock station now. One terabyte of data storage. I have 1.5 terabytes of storage on my PC. I thought it would be enough for years and years. It's been three years and it's nearly full. Kevin Spacey. Plucking your eyebrows thinner than a badger's natter. Now it's got to be full on two slugs fighting for dominance. Totally stealing thinner than a badger's natter. We the saying in Scotland when we're hungover, which is a lot, of rougher than a badger's tadger. Tadger meaning penis in the local vernacular. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.